So um, loci in the uh, in the complex plane is our next topic as we proceed to develop the mathematics on complex numbers. Um, of course, uh, loci are basically um, a curve or something that passes through a set of points. Um, first thing we look at is um, straight lines. Of course, the simpler, simplest of these okay, is straight lines. Now, straight lines uh, occur in several ways in the complex plane. For instance, um, if we take the real part of um, the complex number z equals, for instance, 6. Okay, so let's quickly try to see what we're talking about. If, if the real part of z is equal to 6, that means that along the x-axis, um, we're fixing, we're only fixing the 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 real part, but the imaginary part is allowed to vary. That's the same as saying that you have a straight line, in fact, that goes through six. Okay, so this is this would be, of course, the real again real axis, and the imaginary axis. Because just like uh, we would say, um, for instance, we would say y equals um, or x equals seven, and we draw that. Okay, it's the same as or x equals six, and we draw that. That's a straight line parallel to the y-axis, uh, we get this, okay? In a similar way, one could say that the imaginary part of z equals 8. Now, if I were to do that, for instance, that would mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're talking about this line, okay? Because all we're saying is the imaginary part of z is 8, and, of course, the real part can be anything. So it could be from minus infinity to plus infinity. It's left to be uh, variable. So it gives us this straight line. So here are two loci that you can see uh, for two different situations, two types of straight lines, horizontal line and a, and a vertical line. Well, actually, it's giving you a way of looking at horizontal or vertical lines. Okay, so in equivalent concepts, again, this is real and imaginary, would be this this would be the equivalent of saying y equals 8 for instance this would be the equivalent of saying x equals 6 in the um, in the uh, in the cartesian coordinate system if uh, in, in uh, where x and y are real axes okay just to get, connect you to familiar ideas so in the same way we can have other situations uh, let's have a look at uh, some more examples for instance so here's a here's another another slightly more complicated example z minus uh, 2i over, for instance, uh, z minus 3. So if we take, and this is equal to, for instance, 1, then what happens is this is z minus 2i modulus equals z minus 3 uh, modulus. Now, um, so what happens here in this case is we, we, ha we, we can calculate the modulus of this quite easily. Remember, we're assuming z is x plus i, y in all of this, okay? So what happens is we end up with here, uh, so, so z is x plus i, y. So you will have the modulus of this will be x squared plus um, um, y minus 2 squared, okay? Under the root is equal to here from the real part, something will get subtracted, the 3. In other words, so it'll be x minus 3 squared plus y squared. Now, because we have square roots on, we square both sides, so very simply, and that gives us um, uh, x squared, we open up everything, y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals x squared minus 6x uh, my, uh, plus 9 plus y squared. So the y squared and the y squared and the x squared and the x squared cancels. And we have uh, what we're left with is um, 4y, okay, minus 6x. Bring on that side. 4, 4y minus 6x equals minus 5, okay, which is the equation of a straight line, which we can rewrite as y is equal to um, uh, 6 over 4x uh, minus 5 over 4 which is, the, again, the equation of a straight line. So um, this, is a, this, again, identifies another way to look at uh, uh, the loci. Uh, OK, so let's move on to the other types. of this, this is straight lines. Now let's try to look at, for instance, 
circles. So let's look at, uh, let's look at um, for instance, as an example, most circles look like, uh, most, most, most circles look like this. Uh, if you were to t uh, take z and subtract off from it, uh, for instance, some number, uh, any uh, number, okay, uh, some, so let's say a complex number z1. Now remember here we're assuming z is x plus i, y, and z1 is, for instance, um, uh, let's assume it's um, a plus ib. Okay, then what happens is we end up with um, x, and we say that this is equal to um, some r. For, okay, we've already used small r, so let's use capital R in this case. So what happens now is the so this is this becomes x minus a squared, okay, plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared if you square both sides. I mean, remove the square root from both sides and you get this. And what does that look like? That's the equation of a circle, okay? That's the equation of a circle. Quite straightforward. So a quick example with this for this would be, um, sorry, a quick example of this would be, for instance. Uh, z minus 3 plus 2i, okay, uh, equals 4 for the sake of argument. So that quickly, uh, if we were to write the Cartesian equation, uh, the Cartesian equation of this, that would become x minus, so that we are able to draw it, that is, x minus 3 squared plus y minus, uh, y minus, um, uh, minus 2 squared is equal to 16 okay so that is the equation of a circle okay and what will happen is when we draw that because that's the important thing is where uh, how, how do we draw it essentially so if you were to draw it its center would be uh, 3 2 so 1 2 3 1 2 so its center would be 3 2 okay 3 plus uh, 3 plus 2 i in other words 3 plus 2i would be its center, okay, and its radius is, uh, in this case, the radius is 16, radius is 4, so 4 units, so let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's just to get an idea of the radius, and here you have 1, 2, and 3, and 4 as well, so here, so it's this circle, in, in fact, approximately, right, and there's your radius of uh, 4, the square root of 16, okay, and its center is, of course, 3 plus 2i, okay, so that would be your argon diagram for, um, uh, okay, corresponding to this particular, um, this, uh, uh, this situation, essentially. Now, of course, one can extend these ideas to other uh, general uh, loci, familiar loci, like the uh, ellipse and, uh, and so on, so um, please keep that in uh, that mind. I'm, I'm going to stop here at this point, but you can extend this to more general loci. Yeah, any any equation of this uh, nature, as you see here, um, you can you can have generalized ones, and then you um, the idea is to keep in mind that you are you have a complex number subtracting from z. Z is considered x plus i y. From that, you basically look at the situation uh, and try to go to the Cartesian equation. To familiarize you, to, so that you get a familiar diagram, you, a graph that you're familiar with, equations that you're familiar with, and and those equations represent certain curves. Okay, and that's enough for uh, loci on complex plane.